Hello there, welcome everybody. My name is Don, um, and this is my version of a uh, toothpick crossbow. So I saw this on my shopping channel. I live in Thailand, so there's a lot of cheap stuff from uh, China that I can get. And uh, I saw this and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. So um, I'll just give it a quick demonstration. Quite powerful. So I thought, well, I could make my own. Uh, so I made this. It's uh, very cheaply made, easily made. Doesn't take too long to do. And uh, I just give it a quick whirl. Okay, so just as good as uh, just as good as the bought one. Uh, so I will show you how I went about making it. So what we need are these um, popsicle sticks. Uh, I think you can get them from most DIY shops or modelling shops or uh, stationers even. Uh, I think most pe most uh, shops like that s sell this kind of thing. <laughs> OK, so wide popsicle sticks. Uh, keep the rounded end, end <clears throat> and just measure off five inches, uh, which is 130 millimetres. OK, so that's what we've got, a five inch piece of lollipop stick. Then, once we've got that, so that's cut off there, uh, whatever the width is, uh, measure that same distance that way. So in this case, it's 18 millimetres. <clears throat> so from there to there, measure 18 millimetres, and then draw a, a diagonal line. <clears throat> it will be 45 degrees. So once we've got that cut off, then put another piece up against it like so like that and then mark off on the back and then cut this piece off so we've got that shape on the end and that will be our handle keep the round there and that will go there okay then on this end measure oh, we've got it here uh, an inch and three quarters from the rounded end to there or 45 millimetres okay and then draw a line all the way across there the the width of our uh, toothpick whatever toothpick you you use so if it's that if it's that thickness then just lay it on there and that will be how far down our line is and cut all the way across along there so we've got where are we We've got that. Okay, so inch and three quarters, 45 millimeters, and then cut a line all the way across there. And our handle will sit there, like so. And then in the middle, we need a piece level with the rounded end, but level also with this line, not up there down there okay so that's going to sit like that and also it's going to cut at an angle a 45 degree angle again so that when that sits in there that will fit together like that okay so that's what we've got are we getting all this i hope so <laughs> so once we've got that and we've stuck that Probably with a, um, a hot glue gun is probably the best. Uh, you can use PVA glue, um, but uh, you have to hang around for that to dry. So once we've got that stuck on there like that, then we need another piece. The same as our original piece. Exactly the same. So that will be stuck there, that will be stuck there, and then put this on this side. So it's going to look like that, <laughs> something like that. OK, so I'll go away and stick all that up and uh, I'll come back and we'll carry on. OK, so we've got this shape now. Uh, then from this point here at the end of this um, recess that we cut out, measure one inch or 25 millimetres. And just cut a little notch like that, either with a knife <coughs> or, a, or a hacksaw blade. 
So it doesn't need to be very deep, maybe uh, just one eighth of an inch. We're just going to slip our string over the over the end there. So um, just a little notch cut out there and then with a knife just cut down an angle towards it to make that shape. All right, then from uh, five eighths of an inch from this end or 18 millimeters cut down with a hacksaw like so to about halfway down okay cut that down and because you've cut it with a hacksaw that means a hacksaw will fit in there so what we what, what we need then is a hacksaw blade now this is the perfect thing for um, the tension on a crossbow so uh, we need a, a, a quite a thinnish hacksaw blade like this. Uh, the best way to cut is going to be with one of these angle grinders with a cutting disc on. It will just slice through there like butter very easily. So cut that off to five inches long. So we need five inches of hacksaw blade. Uh, and then the obvious thing then is to cut the teeth off. Grind all the teeth off all along there so uh, the teeth don't worry you so grind away doesn't take long two or three passes and it takes all the teeth away so we're just left with a piece of sprung steel like that okay then in the middle mark the middle and then cut a V shape again very easy just a quick zzz. where are we <laughs> just a quick zzz like that well don't hold it there <laughs> and, and it will uh, cut very easily uh, just a little uh, V there and then the same on the ends like that so that's the shape of the uh, of the piece that you need so that when we slip that into our groove it'll look like that and there'll be a free passage then for the toothpick to travel along Okay, so it needs to be deep enough so that that groove uh, is, is just below the surface. Okay, easily enough, I think. Then, uh, then what do we do? Yes, the um, mechanism. Well, no, we'll put the... I, I, you can use string, any kind of cord, uh, to tie to these two ends here. I, I've just used... Uh, one of the uh, um, things from from the one that I bought that was ju it was just uh, a lot easier to do so uh, if we just put that on there like that I had to stop for a few minutes because it is a bit fiddly try, trying to get that on uh, but uh, th that's what it should look like so you've got your hacksaw blade uh, across there and then a piece of string across there and then the tension should just about be right then to bring that back to that notch that we just made. Okay, so that is going to be our crossbow. There we go. So what we need now is um, a trigger. Um, so what we need are uh, two offcuts of pieces of uh, popsicle stick from when we cut these up um, needs to be about uh, that long so that when you well, cut a 45 degree angle on the end there and just slip that under the under the string like so uh, so that this is just proud at the back there and we need two of them one there and one there like that. <clears throat> Drill a hole halfway, just a, a one eighth diameter or hole or whatever. Um, place it on there and drill the, all the way through as well, through the whole thing. Uh, and then with, um, I'm, I'm using a, a barbecue stick and uh, shave it down until you can pass through those uh, holes. So once, that is there 
and push that through the hole and then that the other side like that okay so that's what you should have so when we press this down it will release the uh, release the street well will it do it yeah of course it will so once we've got that snip this bit off snip this bit off and just put a, 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 a globule of um, hot melt glue on the ends so it actually glues the, the dowel to this end and to this end, but not in the middle. So it's able to uh, run freely. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I put my barbecue stick through the holes uh, and snipped it off either end and then just put a, a, a globule of uh, hot melt glue either end just to uh, hold it in place. So that will then give us our trigger for uh, for the crossbow. So if I pull that back, you can see it's just a case of bang, and that will release the trigger, release the bow. Okay, there we are. Oh, the the handle I I put a um, a paint pot lid uh, over just to give it a, a bit of a shape shape there. Just cut that out. Uh, make it uh, look a little bit more uh, professional. Okay, so uh, I suppose the uh, best thing to do is give it a a whirl. Will it work? Well, will do if you could see it. Are we? Oh, all right. One more. Ah yes, it works. <laughs> okay, so that's my ver. Oh, can't see now. That's my version of a toothpick crossbow. Have a go yourself. If you have any questions, I suppose this uh, th this might be the most difficult. Uh, uh, hacksaw blade are cheap enough to buy. Um, you just maybe need someone to uh, to cut out the uh, the grooves, the three little grooves on the end middle and the ends. Apart from that, very easy to make. You can use just a piece of string. Uh, it doesn't matter what you use across there. Uh, there we are. Cheap and easy to make. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've got a hundred other videos of, of uh, maybe a different subject, but uh, it might be interesting to you. Uh, but please subscribe and you'll be informed when new videos come along. Uh, in the meantime, um, happy modelling. Uh, I've not brought my other one in. I was going to show you a painted one that I did, but you can just spray it, spray it to a, a different colour, whatever. Anyway, I'm waffling. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, I'll see you next time.